You're watching Money in Tech. I'm Perry Ann Boring reporting at Inside Bitcoins NYC. I'm joined by Paul Vernon. He's the CEO of Cripsy, which is an altcoin exchange. So can you just explain how the exchange works? Well, uh, we are a crypto to crypto exchange. So you can buy Litecoin with Bitcoin. You can buy a Dogecoin with Bitcoin. Um, we have uh, over 130 different uh, cryptocurrencies that you can buy and sell uh, with Bitcoin only. We don't currently do fiat. Um, so basically, it's the, it's the place that you can go and get in, into any kind of altcoin that, the, that exists. And what stemmed your idea to create this? It came from a need. So um, I, I had about a, I, I started off uh, mining Bitcoin in uh, 2011. I uh, got bored with it after a couple months because I just wasn't earning anything with it. Uh, even though I, I had uh, mined about 10 Bitcoins, but at the time they weren't worth any, anything at all. So, um, so I stopped. And then at the beginning of 2013, Bitcoin started to rise again. And I got interested in it and decided to sell the Bitcoin that I had because it was over $100. Um, and just started looking at the whole economy again and got interested in Litecoin. Um, so I created a pool for Litecoin and I started getting users to the Litecoin pool. And before I knew it, I had a couple hundred users there. And uh, they started asking for alternate pools. Um, I think the second pool I created was a Feathercoin pool. And it, it, uh, that one did well. And they started asking pools for more and more different uh, coins and before I knew it I had 20 different pools going and um, a lot of these coins had had no place to trade them and so people were holding these coins and they couldn't do anything with them including me because all my fees were in these coins um, so I decided that I would create a, an exchange for all my users of my pools to be able to trade uh, with each other uh, the coins that they've mined with with other coins and and so uh, I launched the Cripsy in uh, May of 2013, and uh, as, like I said, initially it was just for the users of my pools. But very quickly, we started getting users um, from from other places that had never minded any of my pools, and uh, we started getting requests to add um, coins that I didn't have a pool for, and so I added those. And uh, one thing led to another. We have 130 coins on our exchange now and uh, over 200,000 customers. About how many altcoin exchanges are there? Oh, more than I can count on all my fingers. And there's, there's quite a few out there. Most of them are, are very small. Um, they don't have a lot of volume. Um, I would say that Cripsy is by far the largest volume-wise uh, place to, to trade uh, alternate cryptocurrencies. Um, and what makes, what makes Cripsy more successful than some of these other exchanges? Uh, the users, the user base. I mean, uh, we try to, uh, we, we spend a lot of time on customer service. Um, so um, more than half the people who work at Cripsy work in customer service. Um, so, so we try to listen to the users, try to answer user questions very quickly. And I, you know, I think a lot of people recognize this and appreciate it and um, have come to trust us. And as an exchange, what kind of regulatory issues are you facing? Currently, we're not really facing any, um, but we do want to get into the fiat market. Okay. Um, so there, there are those regulatory requirements um, as that, that we have to get over to, to get into that market, such as know your customer. Um, state by state uh, licensure, um, and those are the big hurdles. Okay. And what is the best use or the best purpose of an altcoin? I would say the, one of the better uses of an altcoin is to test out new ideas, uh, test out different algorithms, uh, tweaks to, to the code, um, to create an altcoin and, and put it out there and, and see how it performs with these, with these code changes. and and tweaks is, is a really good way to test to see if it's something that may want to get included into the Bitcoin code base. Um, if something goes wrong with the altcoin, it's not as destructive as if uh, a new idea was implemented in Bitcoin itself and, and something went wrong. Thank you, Paul.